Can we just talk as adults? Does anybody in good faith think that the problem with police brutality in this country is that the police aren't funded enough? My job is to state the obvious. I mean, what you may have glossed over when you saw law enforcement in armored vehicles and wearing military tactical gear, you should have understood when you saw robot canines like this, the sharper image version of McGruff the crime dog. It's insufficient to simplify an issue like the uptick in homicides across the country to being about red versus blue cities and states, a city's amount of police on the beat, or funding for law enforcement. As you'll see today, police departments around the country still have more than enough money. If you didn't know, defunding the police generally means taking money away from police departments and, in many cases, reallocating it to social programs or other city initiatives. Can we not pretend that there haven't been many, for decades, who have been demanding that overstuffed police budgets be cut in order to invest those funds in education, housing, and food insecurity, amongst other things, seeing how these resources are proven to prevent violent crime in neighborhoods and cities over time? This isn't just a recent phenomenon. It just got louder. Since the murder of George Floyd, 20 cities cut funding in one way or another, and, as you've probably heard, homicide spiked in those cities. But this happened all around the country since the beginning of 2020. But before then, it's important to note that the homicide rate was on a 30 year downward trend and even where it currently stands now, the homicide rate is still much lower than it was in the 90s. And things like armed robbery and burglary did not rise with this current tide. Police funding sure did. Cities across the US that have made modest progress on defunding are facing resistance. In Seattle, Council members initially pledged to meet activist demands and cut the police budget by 50%, but ultimately backtracked amid intense police opposition, passing a reduction of about 18% by leaving vacancies unfilled and moving certain functions like parking enforcement out of the police budget. However, 26 cities increased funding to their police departments like Tampa, Fresno, and San Diego, and homicide spiked there as well. Even though police are much more likely to spend their time doing paperwork or responding to unfounded calls or in traffic, they're trained to be warrior cops. Most training is devoted to violence and protecting and defending themselves. Sure, I get it, they need to be ready in case they encounter a deadly situation. If anything has remained constant over time, it's police killings, which remain steady at between 1,000 and 1,200 per year. American police kill more so than any other wealthy nation in the world. So, before I continue, let's get this out of the way. There does not appear to be a correlation between police violence and a city's violent crime. Maybe from neighborhood to neighborhood, but I doubt it. And there are benefits to putting a concentrated amount of officers in communities where there are frequent homicides in order to prevent them from occurring. I will acknowledge that it is difficult to put the right amount of police in the right place at the right time. With that being said, over-policing is a problem too, which can lead to more and frequent fraudulent interactions with law enforcement like tickets for jaywalking and loitering, arresting people for public drunkenness, pulling people over for failing to signal or having a taillight out, in addition to harassment, which can turn deadly. Do I need to tell you that police officers aren't mental health specialists, psychologists, counselors, therapists, social workers, or even de-escalation specialists? There isn't enough training in the world to reform a warrior. So if your idea is that more police decreases civilian crime, you're ignoring the violence committed by the police. Too often, it's not considered a crime. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. If you want to see content from yours truly, click on the hashtag below. I can also be found on all socials at he gonna be all right. Thanks for watching.